When it comes to the great centers of NBA history, there are a famous few who hog all of the shine and attention to themselves. For example, the Shaq, Chamberlain, and Hakeems of the world, just to name a few. But then you have a guy like Patrick Ewing, who was a dominant force on both ends of the court, carried his franchise for years, and who ranks high on many of the NBA's all-time statistical lists. Unfortunately, Ewing is one of those legends that never won an NBA championship, and whether it's fair or not, by and large, that's the greatest determining factor in how we separate the icons from simply the great players. Today we're evaluating the talent, nuances, and legacy of a Knicks legend that I'm sure their fans miss very dearly. Patrick was drafted in 1985 with the first overall pick by the New York Knicks. When Ewing was entering the NBA, he was 23 years old and was coming off of an extremely successful four years with Georgetown University. Ewing was a 7-foot center with a near 8-foot long wingspan. He was a force when attacking the rim, he was skilled with low post moves, and with his reach and athleticism, he was an elite shot blocker. There wasn't anything necessarily flashy about his game, but he was smooth, consistent, and methodical. His rookie year was plagued with injuries, causing him to miss 32 games of his first season. Other than the games he missed, his rookie campaign was quite solid, as he averaged 20 points, 9 rebounds, and 2.1 blocks on 47.4% shooting. With this being said, Patrick and his Knicks were still far from contending in a tough, top-heavy Eastern Conference. After his debut season, his game would slowly continue to improve over time, as would his team's ability to contend. It wasn't until his fourth year in the league that his Knicks finally began to break through, as they finished the 88-89 and season with a 52-30 and record. Ewing spearheaded this surge, as he averaged 22.7 points, 9.3 rebounds, and 3.5 blocks on a career-best 56.7% shooting. These Knicks would eventually be eliminated in the semifinals by Jordan's Chicago Bulls, but this was merely a taste of what the Knicks were capable of. As I mentioned earlier, Ewing and the Knicks never won a championship, but it is important to keep in mind that over the next five years, from 1990 to 1994, the Knicks were eliminated each year by the eventual NBA champions, the Pistons in 90, the Bulls in 91, 92, and 93, and to the Rockets in 94. Ewing and the Knicks were certainly of elite caliber, they just could never quite make it over the hump. These five seasons encompass the prime of Ewing's career, as he averaged 25.6 points, 11.3 rebounds, and 3 blocks on 51.8% shooting during that stretch. Within these years of contending were many ups and downs for Ewing. Due to his shortcomings in the playoffs, many labeled him a choker, like in the 1995 East semifinals when Ewing blew a layup that would have sent Game 7 to overtime, or like the 1994 NBA Finals when Ewing shot under 40% for the series and was greatly outplayed by Hakeem Olajuwon. But let's be honest, what center in the 90s did not get embarrassed by Hakeem Olajuwon? Despite a few crucial instances where Patrick underperformed, there were also times where he came up huge. Like in Game 6 of the 1992 Eastern Conference Semifinals against the Bulls, where the Knicks were facing elimination and Ewing was dealing with a severe ankle sprain, yet Ewing still scored 27 points, 8 rebounds, and 3 blocks in a Willis Reed type performance to secure the victory. The truth is, Ewing is somewhere in the middle like most players. He had moments where he came up small in the playoffs, and he had moments where he came up clutch. The difference in how you're remembered is usually defined by whether or not you won championships. And unfortunately, due to Jordan and Elijahwan and ongoing knee issues, he was never able to secure that ring. His Knicks were able to make it to another NBA Finals in 1999, but at that point, he was 36 years old and wasn't the player he once was. He played 17 years in the NBA in total and had career averages of 21 points, 9.8 rebounds, and 2.4 blocks on 50.4% shooting. For his career, he was an 11-time All-Star, made 7 All-NBA teams, and 3 All-Defense teams. He's 23rd on the all-time scoring list and 6th among strictly centers. He's 25th all-time in rebounds and 7th all-time in blocks. The numbers and talent tell us that he's one of the greatest centers to ever live but I honestly think the narratives about him have made him somewhat underrated. Do you agree? Let me know in the comments section how good you think Patrick Ewing is. Thanks for watching as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more NBA content, and I'll see you guys in the next video.